What is good, Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to break down some very important information about Neo. Neo looks more bearish for the short term. It's likely going to see more downside, but going into the future, there's going to be a very big catalyst that could help Neo see a very explosive move. I'm going to break down why it's very likely that that will happen, in my opinion, and what that catalyst is likely going to be. And before I break anything down about all this information and talk about Neo stock and what's going on with deliveries coming out for the next uh, week, I do have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I am not a financial planner. Take none of this as financial advice. And also don't forget about the Moomoo link. The offer ends very soon. Deposit $100 in your guaranteed five free stocks with a $100 cash reward. The offer ends in just six days. So check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. Neo was down 5.49% for the day on Friday. And obviously it looks like it's starting to downtrend, getting that confirmation. So we formed this potential like head and shoulders like pattern. It was very similar to it, not exactly. And I was watching this level and I told you guys, if we break below the four hour 50 EMA, that's going to be a bearish signal. And Neo did get that break to the downside. If it managed to break above this like 9.2 resistance, it could have pumped a lot more. Instead, it got the uh, bearish confirmation on uh, for Friday. And now it's looking more bearish. It also broke below the 200 EMA and we got enough confirmation to suggest this thing will continue dropping. Now, as the trend is looking a lot more bearish on the four hour time frame, you have to remember that Neo has this gap down here, which could act as a magnet all the way down to this like 7.7 .7 area. So it could be entering this chop zone in the mid $7 area very, very soon. Now, with that happening, right? And with there being more downside, Neo might become very boring as volume is dropping. And I think the odds favor it coming down. However, even if Neo does continue to drop near the very end of June as the market is slowing down for like SPY and Tesla and many other tickers like, like I talked about in the last like video, there is a lot of potential for Neo to make a very, very, very big bounce later on because of what Neo is saying right here. Neo is saying that their sales are going to jump to about 25,000 deliveries for the second quarter of 2023. That is some very, very good news. But once you break down the numbers, things look very interesting because when you look down here, Neo is basically saying that they're going to hand over about 23 to 25,000 deliveries. But when you look at it, you will see that for the uh, quarter, Neo has been pretty weak this quarter because when you look at the first quarter, Neo did 8,500 deliveries for January, 12,000 deliveries for February, over 10,000 deliveries for March. Then look at April and May, 6,000 deliveries, another 6,000, very, very weak to start us off. Now, if you add these up together, you're going to get about 12,700, almost 12,800 deliveries in total between these two months and that's very very uh, low compared to neo standards we've done over twelve thousand in just one month so very low amounts of deliveries for the second quarter so far but you have to remember neo is giving us an estimate of about 23 to twenty five thousand, or even like twenty five thousand. so if they've, they've already done about twelve thousand eight hundred, they're suggesting that they're going to be doing at least ten thousand deliveries for june and potentially even up to about almost 13,000, right? That is some very, very bullish news. If they could actually get almost 13,000, that's telling us once again, between 12, I'm sorry, 10 and about over 12,000, basically close to like 13,000 deliveries. Uh, that's very possible. That is very, very likely. And I do believe Neo is confident to make a claim like this because when you look at what's happening so far uh, right here, William Lee Bin is telling us that Neo is going to be getting a lot more orders for the second half. And the ES6 has over 30,000 pre-orders just in 72 hours, surpassing the Model Y monthly Chinese sales. So that's very interesting. I'm not trying to compare Tesla with Neo. I think they're both great companies full of so much potential. But I'm just talking about this because of how important this is for Neo and why this is very bullish news. Now, going forward, okay, I think the new ES6 is going to become a hit seeing the pre-orders. And I do believe that Neo is going to be giving us more deliveries for the second half. They mentioned that July specifically is when things are going to really start picking up. But for June, they are basically telling us they should be expecting at least 10,000 deliveries in total. Now, what else is significant is Neo announced price cuts. Neo was saying that 
you know, they didn't want to participate in the price cuts initially. And I think that was a mistake they made because that contributed to them getting less deliveries. It's because they didn't really want to see their margins get worse because their margins are not necessarily the best in my eyes. But Neo is willing to take that risk now so that they can start boosting their sales for the second half. Now, there's also a lot of competition in China. If you look at other companies like Li Auto, they're still doing quite well, especially Tesla. But Neo is coming in with different strategies to help them out. The new pre orders that are coming out for the ES6 are going to help bring in more sales going forward. And I believe that they're not officially confirmed until like July 31st, but that's completely fine. I think the majority of the individuals are going to continue to buy them. This may just continue to grow nonetheless. I believe something else about NEO is NEO tends to do very well when they give us bad months like this. If you were watching last year when we saw those big drops during April and May of 2022 because of the lockdowns in China, NEO ended up coming back much stronger uh, in June by giving them over like 10,000 deliveries or even more than that. So what I'm trying to say is I predict, and this is what I think is going to happen, I think that Neo is going to try to keep their words. And I think they're going to do over 10,000 deliveries for June. I think the price cuts maybe were included because maybe they wanted to boost sales even more. Maybe they weren't reaching all their goals in the beginning, to be honest with you guys. And then they, they cut some prices, which is very rare and not what the CEO initially said. So that abnormality could help boost their sales. I think there's a good chance Neo could reach the 25,000 mark or at least 23,000. But here's what's so big about this. Let's just say they do about 10,000, just like this. Compare this 10,000 bar to like the 6,000 bar. What the headlines are going to say is Neo's deliveries are a big time. Uh, I know last June they did very, very high amounts as well. So I don't know if it's going to be up year over year, but they could say that Neo's deliveries are up almost, you know, 40, 50 percent or more than 50 percent, sorry, like 60 percent almost month over month. And that's going to be very impressive. And if Neo comes close to this target or does like another 10,000 plus delivery a month, the share price could start to improve big time. When Neo tends to do better, the share price tends to improve as well. You have to remember that Neo's fundamentals, they also drive this share price up. Now, looking back at Neo, when you look at this, could Neo be getting ready to form some kind of like inverse head and shoulders pattern? So, like on the daily chart, for example, let's see if this still uh, looks the same way. I, I think it's hiding the extended hours. So I have to put this on the four hour. I do apologize that this is kind of small. But another theory that you could have about NEO is there's a possible much larger like inverse head and shoulders that's developing right here. And right, we had this like left shoulder right here, you have this double bottom for the head forming a bullish divergence. And now our right shoulder could be forming like right here. Maybe NEO is going to come down a little bit more for like a, you know, a week. And then we might see NEO just start pumping up, pumping up again. And it could be on its way to start another uptrend and maybe it is possible that this new news about Neo giving us improved deliveries could be the catalyst to help this thing go from like down here all the way back up. Maybe like the right shoulder is almost done. It's been forming right here. And it's about to start curling up after deliveries come out. The reaction to deliveries is typically not just initial and doesn't always happen quickly. Sometimes it could take many weeks for it to start uptrending. Like it uptrends over a period of a few weeks and deliveries could be the catalyst that caused that, right? So maybe, just maybe, we have a left shoulder, the head and the right shoulders yet to develop and it has room to push up even more. That's very possible. That would be a more bullish case. And I, I personally think there's a good chance they're going to meet their words and give us a good report for June. I think so. That's what I'm predicting. And with that said, I just wanted to say I appreciate every single one of you for listening. I just gave you guys my thoughts on Neo. Please remain calm, gloom, collected, and do what you have to do. It's going to be very exciting uh, after next week ends. And until then, yes, Neo may have some downside coming. It could drop more, but it does have potential to find a base and start pushing up very soon. All right, so thank you for listening. Have a good one, guys. Neo to the moon is long-term is still incredibly bright. And peace out.